My name is Tunde Olaoye. I'm a storyteller, um, a filmmaker. Ah, well, I grew up with my, my formative years um, was with my grandmother and um, it has so much influenced what I'm doing today because uh, my grandmother told me a lot of stories and uh, from there I, you know, got interested in telling stories. So growing up was fun. Um, I grew up with my grandmother, I grew up uh, sometimes with my uncle and then with my parents. So I grew up in a lot of places. I grew up in Leife, in Ibadan, in Lagos. Um, I schooled in a boarding school, Unity School Ikire. I went to University of Illinois. So I mean, I've um, like traversed almost all the six geopolitical zones growing up in Nigeria. I wouldn't say there's um, a particular thing that I derive inspiration from as a director, uh, but when I just want to be in my element, when I, anytime I feel um, maybe I, I'm writing, I have writer's block or I want to relax, I like to be on water, I like to travel on water. Sometimes I just take, you know, a boat ride to and fro and I come back, I'm relaxed and I come into my element. Yeah, my first time of um, shooting, let's say, feature length was um, while I was doing my OIC in Zamfara State. I was um, 21 years and um, it wasn't um, it, it, it wasn't a kind of production I can term as good if I see it today. But I mean, you have to start. If you want to be a filmmaker, you must make films. Um, I was I wasn't harmed with enough you know knowledge. I wasn't um, armed with enough experience. But I just had the desire to want to shoot something. I rented a camera. You know, we wrote a story, and that was it. That was how I started. Yeah, I've shot a couple of movies. Um, my own movie that I shot in 2012 is my first film for the cinema, which is um, My River Living Single, um, a multi-award winning movie, uh, which um, was in all the cinemas in the country. It also, um, it also showed in cinemas in Dublin and, um, and the United Kingdom and, and um, London to be precise. Um, I've shot a couple of films for friends too, in the mainstream Nollywood, you know, Yoruba films, but just only a couple of them. I will say that um, TV, you know, series um, is my main forte. I've worked with uh, Make Media Family Ties as a director and a writer. I've worked on their project um, titled um, Nowhere to be Found, um, Liberty Villa. Um, I've worked on Face to Face, the comedy series. I've worked on um, Shadows for, I've, I've worked for, on Shadows for um, Doomfake Ventures Limited. I've worked on um, Needle's Eye. I've also worked for BUMAC International Services, productions like Crack in the Wall, Behind the Smile. And then um, currently I am shooting um, Jennifer's Diary as the director and the head writer. I would say that um, comedy it could be very, very challenging because um, there's a thin line between comedy and stupidity. Sometimes people think they are doing comedy, but uh, they are only displaying some level of uh, <laughs> insanity. So um, I would say I find comedy more challenging, like um, writing and directing for Face to Face and also Jennifer's Diary. Because um, comedy means that you need to amuse people even while you are teaching them something. So they need to have a take home lesson and also you have to amuse them. So it's not actually very easy to make people laugh. So I will say that um, the comedy series that I've done, like uh, Jennifer's Diary, have been, you know, the most um, challenging series that I've um, gotten involved in. I came from the background of theater. I studied performing arts. So uh, a great level of discipline is required from anybody, you know, that, um, uh, that, that passes through that theatre training, so lateness, um, I, I believe that an artist must be time conscious, an artist must understand that um, filmmaking, storytelling is a collaborative effort, so you must not let your ego uh, supersede the um, collaboration that is expected to come up with a very good production. So I believe that an artist or anybody working on the film set so I believe that um, an artist or anybody working on the film set, you know, needs to be very, very disciplined. Well, I would say that um, Nollywood is improving. Um, there's 
an emerging force that is actually coming up in Nollywood, that is ready to play, you know, the game globally. Um, we still have a lot of disadvantages in terms of the fact that um, we still have a lot of disadvantages in terms of the fact that we do not have the, the environments, you know, proper studios, proper film villages to film. We still film in people's houses. We still film in people's on people's properties, you know, which. Um, limit some of the things that we are supposed to do but even with all the challenges that we have uh, Nollywood has still been able to come up with um, something reasonable that can you know play with um, the global filmmaking world so um, Nollywood is not there yet but Nollywood is upcoming and um, very soon um, it will be a force to reckon with like Bollywood and Hollywood. Um, right now I'm shooting um, a series that has a working title, uh, a, a, the, the working title of the series I'm shooting right now is uh, titled Winds of Destiny. Um, it's a series meant for Nigerian terrestrial television and we are in the process of production. Yeah, well as a director I want to, you know, leave great legacies, I want to be um, point of reference for you know future filmmakers I want them to even when I'm long gone I want them to read about me to read about my works I mean to analyze my style and let it motivate them into becoming something you know big too making them to achieve their own dreams too as storytellers